Okay, in this next example, let's use Newton's method to find the square root of two to eight decimal places. Okay, again, the thing to note is Newton's method applies to finding roots of functions. So the thing to note here is that the square root of two is the positive root of the equation x squared minus two equals zero. And we're gonna call this f of x. So now we've taken this statement and translate it into a question about a root of a function. So our function in this case is x squared minus two. We want to approximate a root of it. We're gonna use Newton's method, so we need to know its derivative. And then we're gonna use Newton's iterative formula. So what's Newton's iterative formula? Well, it says you can get the next approximation by taking the previous one and subtracting off f of xn over f prime of xn. And we can now say, okay, well, f of xn is xn squared minus two, f prime of xn is two xn, and I can do a little bit of simplification here, putting it over a common denominator, xn squared plus two, all over two xn, so I get a uh, xn squared plus two all over two xn, which is, I could factor out a half, and I get an xn plus two over xn. And so there is our Newton's iterative formula for this particular example. So now I need to know an initial guess. Um, what should my initial guess be? Well, the square root of two, two is between one and four, so the square root of two would be between the square root of one and the square root of four, so it would be between one and two. So maybe I'll take my initial guess to be two. You could take it to be one, or you could even take it to be one and a half, since you know the square root of two is gonna be between one and two. Um, Now that you know that we have this computational tool that you can just sort of feed in the initial guesses and crank away and see what happens, you should be free to try different initial guesses and just crank, it, crank away, see what comes out, see the approximations as they come out and how changing the initial guess changes the uh, degree of accuracy of those approximations. Maybe it takes less time to get to the approximate value to within the number of decimal places you require if you make a better initial guess. In fact, you probably think it should good initial guess means you should get to the uh, approximate value of the, the root much quicker. So we've got our initial guess. Now we just pop it in to get the next guess, or the next approximation. So this becomes 1 half of 2 plus 2 over 2, or that's going to be 3 halves, or 1.5. So in other words, if you were to make your initial guess of 1.5 to begin with, then you would just be picking up right here where, we, where we're leaving off by taking our initial guess to be two. So you would have been one step ahead if you made a better initial guess of 1.5. So now we take 1.5, feed it back into our iterative formula, and see what we get. And feel free to try this yourself and see what numbers come out. Uh, use the Sage cell that I just demonstrated for you and uh, see if you get the same results that, that I do here. So feeding it in, the next bunch of approximations are as follows. Okay, so we worked out the first six approximations and we're trying to find the answer to eight decimal places. So I'm looking at successive approximations to see if I've got des eight decimal places in common. So this is two, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight decimal places there. And this one has the same eight decimal places in common. The one previous doesn't. So these ones agree to eight decimal places. And so that means we've just found that the square root of two is approximately 1.4142156. Okay, so at this stage you may ask yourself, I could use a computer to work out the square root of two. So did you actually do anything here? Because we did use a computer to work out these successive approximations. Ah, but think about what operations we had the computer doing. We had it working with this iterative formula. What's the iterative formula doing? Well, it's taking your input, adding it to two over your input, and then multiplying it by half. So all it's doing here is addition, multiplication, and division. 
It's just doing those three arithmetic operations, addition, multiplication, and division. That's all we're asking the computer to do here. And we had it work out an approximation to a square root. So that's the key here is, yes, we did use a computer, but we only had it doing very basic things, addition, multiplication, and division.